All right, wasn't sure if it was going to go on, but here we are. Auto Salon 2022. I haven't really been keeping up uh, as to, you know, people have been... I haven't really kept up as, uh, you know, what people are building, this, that and the other, so... I will be as surprised as you will. Remember last year we did the uh, the virtual auto salon on the live stream? Remember that? We were like running around uh, in like a virtual environment. <laughs> if, if that wasn't, you know, 2021, uh, I don't know what is. Oh, these are the Office K guys. I know these guys. They're like a, you know, luxury wheel shop. Oh, I just got a message from Synapse. He was at dinner. Ah, uh, thought so. But let me just message him. Thank you for all the subs, by the way. I'm sorry there's no alerts today. I had to start. Let me, let me put you something you can watch. Sylvia, I want to drive it. Let me drive it. Oh, you got to go through a little thingamajig. <laughs> we have the <laughs> checkpoint to enter the Toyota stand. You must. You must disinfect your filthy hands. Oh, there's a queue. Oh my god, okay, well, let's let's queue up then. Because I want to go in there. Ah, all right. Guess I'll just line up. Uh, I had to start directly to Twitch. I'm live now okay <laughs> waiting stream is the picture a little bit dark or is it okay line simulator it's fine okay good oh, maybe we can zoom in here here we go rally stuff and there's a formula is that a formula nippon car i don't know <laughs> super gt a oh, super formula it's it's a super formula car i don't even know what class that is when I looked at team view, the profile was switched. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Uh. Oh, they have a they have a temperature sensor thing too. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Ooh. All right. All right. What's cool? Team Impol. What? class of car is this super form super formula i don't know chat does anyone watch super formula I like the color though has the mic too by the way and black and gold always suits like a formula car doesn't it like the old uh, john player cars you know it okay yeah, that's the John Player colours, right? <laughs> they always look good on a Formula style car. Ooh, prototype and it's still covered with... Is that a wrap or is that... Ah, oh, it's a wrap, I think. Yeah, look. <laughs> if you zoom in, you can see it's like, it's actually a wrap. Or is it? No, wait. No, it is a wrap. That's not dirt, it's a wrap. But it looks really good. I had to get really close to see if it was... 
uh, if it was a wrap or not. Or unless they've clear coated over it. Did it is it just coated? And the windscreen's still dirty, but they, I don't know. They always do that? They usually keep the dirt on the car after the wind. I mean, it looks real. I guess they, uh, I guess they've coated over the top of it. That's cool. Uh, okay, it looks like, actually chat, it looks like we've, uh, we've got the server fixed. So I might switch over to that. But now I've already started, I don't want to turn off. All right, let's have a look at the cars we can actually drive. Ooh. Okay. What on earth is this? It's a GT3 car? What is this? GT3 concept. Okay, you guys probably know more than I do. Let's have a look. Oh, here we go. Oh, it is. GT3 concept. I really like it. Oh, it's got the uh, LFA style. I mean, I know the LFA sort of design was based on you know, other designs too, but it's got that look. Yeah, I like this. I think this, yeah, this style, can we say like it's the most masculine looking design for a car? Like the really long front, you know, like the classic, you know, the, the Jaguar E-Type, the 240Z, uh, the BM, uh, sorry, the Mercedes-Benz GTR. You know, uh, the, the Sora even. Like a, yeah, like a Viper. It's sort of excessive and very... Oh yeah, the Vulcan. Yeah, it looks a bit like a Vulcan, doesn't it? I like it. All right, now. All right, what do we think of the new GR86? It's good, it has so much potential though. Look, it looks good. Only downside, I guess, is it's not turbo. But as we'll see soon, there's gonna be plenty of turbo and supercharger kits coming out for this car. And look, it looks, it looks nice now. It looks better than the 8C, the old 86 does. Kind of loses character with the taillights. I agree with that. They do look a bit, uh, what do you think? Like BMW-ish or uh, even like, it looks like KDM in a way. Like it looks like a Korean car sort of. Or like a Honda, yeah, that's true. The, the bottom bumper looks sort of Honda-y, doesn't it? The lights look a bit too European, I think. I'd like them looked a bit more Japanese looking. But overall, though, the side profile looks great. Not everything needs a turbo, to be honest. This is true. This is, this is true. Plug-in hybrid off-road. How are you supposed to charge your car off-road? Doesn't make sense. Duckbill adds some much. Okay. It needs twin turbo stock. Well, not even turbo, but I mean, I don't know. There, 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 there will be plenty of uh, there will be plenty of aftermarket stuff. And look, if anything, it's better that 
they release a car with built-in potential because it means we can have more fun shooting it. And here we go, the, the fastest car released recently with the least amount of sex appeal. It just doesn't look like, it just doesn't look good. But these things are so crazily fast. You know, like this, this goes up there, the, you know, up there with the, uh, you know, the Escort Cosworth and you know, the, the WRX and all that sort of stuff. All those like built to win rally. Poor Jared. Yeah, I'm sorry, Jared. I know you have one. But look, I've, I've ridden in one and even stock, they're crazy. It's just the car shouldn't be that fast. It's like someone took a, you know, took a Yaris and just stuck all the pieces of a WRX on it. Let's have a look at what uh, Tom's is doing. So there's also word that they'll be releasing a Supra with a manual gearbox. Now, I don't know if that's in response to the new Z that's coming out. If it is, that's kind of lame. By the way, I just, I went out and bought at the last minute a wide angle lens to put on here so I can fit in the, the whole car, even though I'm standing really close to it. Well worth it. Tom's kit looks good, doesn't it? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I like the, uh, the stacked tail, the, the stacked tailpipes though. Speaking of wide, what are you throwing on the S15? Wait and see. Look at this. 8.6 Supra. Like if you blinked, they're almost, they almost look like the same thing. <laughs> right? They look good in orange, don't they? You don't see it? Come on. That's nothing. That's cool. What are you smoking? What? I mean, look. All right, fine. Again, the stacked, the Lexus style stacked uh, exhaust. Okay, let's keep going. So Modelista is like a Toyota dress up brand. <laughs> Two door coupe looks same Papega. Well, yeah. Looks like they're trying to beat BMW at their own game. Let me just, okay, here we go, look. Are you ready? When this guy gets out of the way. Grill. Look, I zoom in this much, all you can see is grill. <laughs> grill, bumper. That's all there is. It's 90% grill. <laughs> what is this grill game? It's the grill cold war all these manufacturers are playing. It's a gas heater. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, someone turned the heat on. I shouldn't zoom in too much with this lens. It gets a bit of distortion. All right. That's a stand, BBS. Oh, are they the new Formula One wheels? We're all running 18s now, bro. What do you think? I think these will suit the... I mean, I know it's not about aesthetics, but I think they will uh, suit the look of the, the, the current F1s, like the really long wheelbase. 
Like no detail. That's true. I right, can get these are and these are high ace wheels, so you can get like the same pattern. Nobody will see these. That's true. Are they all going to be black though? Can they can they paint them a different color, or do they have to keep them black so you can see the the tire markings better? Looks like a standard wheel. Yeah, but they haven't been running 18s uh, up until it's from 18s from next season, right? They'll have wheel covers. Alpha Tauri's are white. Ah, uh, uh, wheel covers. That's true. <laughs> a different color will be a race advantage. <laughs> yeah, the. I mean, like the tuning fork shape wheel sort of suits anything, doesn't it? Red ones go faster. <laughs> ah. Vita O one. Giorgio Cup. Okay. Look, it's got it's got little heart marks and like sparkles. It's like a magical girl racing car Jeez, this is so wide Inter Proto series 3.9 liter V8 I just, I don't really keep up with racing so I don't even know what this is all right, here we go, next to it. Ah, here we go. So this is one of the good things about media day chat is we're not, we're not surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of guys taking photos and trying to get shots up their skirts. It's just uh, mostly media guys and people who managed to scam their way in. They have to do this for three whole days. So if you can't see the car that's behind them, it's the it's the that's and sunny. Yes. Sunny. Yes, sunny. Yes, sunny. Yeah. So they ran. This is uh, like back in the day before. You know, you always see like uh, the A86 races back in the day. This is what they ran before those mostly. The that's and sunny cup. And they ran the 3K engine, which are loud AF. And it's really cool to hear, like, they still run some of these uh, series. <laughs> oh, yeah. Champion driver. <laughs> oh, it's the driver. Yeah. Sunny driver. Do you know this? Yeah, so they, they still run, it's like a retro series, but they still run it. おと、すごい。音、音、すごいでしょ。すごい。うん。映画大エンジンのフルチューンで、うん、カリクル。まあ、生配信してますから、ちょっと。ソフィアライト。エヴァティオ。うん。ゴッドスピード。ゴッドス
Uh, what is it called? The Mitsu, Mitsuoka Orochi? Not, not this one, Chad, this one over here. So, okay. Now, some of you may have seen this car before. A lot of you may have not seen this car. This is a Mitsuoka Orochi. And Mitsuoka is a, a remanufacturer. They make a lot of, uh, they'll, they'll take like a factory car, make it into something else. You may have seen things like the, the Galu or the, uh, what's the other one? Chat, what's the other one that Mitsuoka makes? The one that looks like, uh, it looks like one of those pimp cars. The Lesaid, thank you, Drago. Yeah, the Lesaid, which is an S15 Silvia or a Mustang, which has been converted to look like a sort of a pimp car, like a, what do you call those? Uh, uh, what is this Lesaid meant to look like? I forget the actual, name of what they meant to look like but anyway so similar to uh you know some other companies that do the similar similar sort of thing overseas uh this is their original supercar which isn't really a supercar because it has a camry engine in it it's a, it's an automatic v6 and it doesn't go fast at all but um yeah like a Cruella de Vil car what are they, what are they meant i forget what they're actually meant to be called yeah, no, not, and that's not like a, oh, it's got a, it's got like a Toyota V6, like in the good way, like a Lotus, you know, has like a Toyota engine. No, no, no. It's, it's slow. It's not good. It's a fashion supercar. And they don't even try to like pretend it's fast. It's just meant to look good. No, it's not a kick car. You, you could just order them directly from Mitsuoka. They still have a, they still sell cars like this. Like they look like, um. Uh, what do you call it? Like, uh, like they'll take a, what have they taken? If you just look up Mitsuoka on the internet, you'll see. Like they look like, uh, what do you call them? Uh, it'll take like a Micra and turn it into, it looks like a Bentley sort of thing. And they made a little mini, mini version of it. Mitsuoka Oroch. Hmm. You know? Stimas. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Engine is what is this? Engine is Toyota Harrier. That's right. How about how many wide did you get? How about? Uh, yori. yori no, Fifty So they've put a 50 mil kit. Air air sauce, is it? Yes, And it's uh, as you can see, slammed on bags. And it does. I mean, imagine if this had. You know, if you could put like a, you know, an Audi V10 or something like that in this. Like, how good would it be? Uh, there you go. Sim Kusha said, Jusenberg. Uh, That's it. That's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the other car that Mitsuoka makes. It's meant to look like a Jusenberg. So there you go. This is their new sort of, uh, you know, last, at the last auto salon they had, uh, what was it? It was a, like a fake mirror, I think it was. Not a Mura? No, it was a a Dino or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, show the back. Was she don't this car? Was she don't meet? It's all a bit uh, closed up, but so there's the there's the rear. I don't know. Those lights might be custom. I don't know. It does look cool, doesn't it? It's just, uh, it's just not fast. That's the only, the only downside. And here we have the S15 they did up. So the style of uh, livery they're going for this year is this uh, white with the yellow lighting stripe. You might recognize this from the old uh, S12 Silvia super silhouette cars, which is what this is meant to look like. So you may have seen this car before. It does run in uh, FD Japan, being driven by this guy here, Hibino. And it has a, is it a quad rotor? I think it is, I think it is. The quad rotor, you can see, I think that's the, there's the fuel rail sticking out right there. So this style of, uh, you know, the, the big box fender and narrow wing on the back and big lip on the front and these little 
fins there on the bonnet. This is uh, a throwback to the old silhouette formula. If you've ever seen that uh, that big DR30, uh, the red DR30 Tomica Skyline, you know, it looks similar to this. That's the same, it ran in the same series, and they used to they used to run stuff like this at um, you know scuba circuit, like even small tracks like that. Audio hot? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll sit back a bit from the mic. Are those RE71s cut in half? No, they're five X's. So there you go, they're a uh, sphere light. I don't know, it might be there. I don't know. I don't know about all these, these companies that they keep making. Now I'm glad it's media day today because this would normally be very crowded. <laughs> that thing, <laughs> that thing is glitching into the ground. It does kind of look like that, doesn't it? So to get it to look this low, you have to shoot the suspension five times with a pistol, and then again. <laughs> I thought I thought they patched that. Meta jokes, Pog. And this is also the new uh, the aero kit that they've made for this. There you go. There's your there's your hello chat. That's all you get. So they've uh, there's a new kit that they've designed for the uh, which I don't even know which Lamborghini this is. Chat. Which which one is this? She can't see you, by the way. I don't even know what they, just, they, they keep making too many of these things. I don't know. Aventador could be. I, I guess it is. It is a well, they're calling it, they're calling it a Works GT Evo. Liberty Walker. Well, I mean, it's, it looks like an Aventador, doesn't it? God, look at this rear wing setup they've got on it. And Ferrari. So these are all on air. They're not on. Uh, they're not static. SVJ, I guess. I guess. Huracan. I don't even know, dude. I'm sorry. I don't pay attention to. <laughs> I don't pay attention to Lamborghinis because uh, I. I don't know. Although with, with the price, uh, with the way the Japanese car prices are going, something like this might be, uh, you know, viable. <laughs> it's an Aventador. Okay. I mean, that's a that's an Aventador, that's an Aventador vent, and like I'm not trying to make a joke. It looks kind of cool. It's a four five eight. Lambos are just nightmares of maintenance. Remember, like you see stories of people who. You know, they buy Lamborghinis and they do these huge drives and drive them everywhere and and then they go, oh, it's a lemon because the engine broke. And it's like, you didn't, you didn't adjust the time. Like, they need timing chain adjustment, like, all the time. What do you expect? Ah, oh, okay, this one. Uh, this is the... This is the, the drift Lamborghini that Daigo Saito built for them back in the day. So I think the oh, it's still missing. <laughs> it's still missing the headlight. <laughs> so this, I think the story behind this particular car was that the owner, uh, the owner of it passed away, I think. And 
they made a, a drift car out of it. I think that, that was the story behind it anyway. So Daigo Soto built it up for them. It originally had that monster livery on it. And then Daigo gave it back to them. And it, I think I saw a video of it drifting at Okayama recently with uh, Taniguchi driving it. Oh. Oh, you were, you were effing because the guy died. Don't. It changed livery? Yeah. It's this, uh, this red sort of Bosozoku style livery now. Oh, stream good? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. So yeah, it actually gets uh, driven hard. And it broke that headlight a while ago and it's just been broken ever since. I guess they don't want to buy another one. That's been broken like since I first saw the car. Oh, that's what I was talking about before. Remember I was saying about the, uh, there was a DR30 super silhouette car, like one of the most famous ones. Well, they made one of those as well. This is one of their display cars from last year. Does the mini car have a broken headlight? It does. <laughs> it does, well spotted. If you spotted that or if you're just asking, that's actually kind of cool. Yeah, look. That's, that's, the, that's, that's attention to detail. That's the kind of attention to detail we like to see. There we go. Very good. Very nice. I like it. So. Ah. <laughs> ah. So, uh, we have this car here. So it's an R34. I don't know. It was probably based on a, just an NA one and they built it up with this kit on it. It was one of the cars from last year. And what's cool though, it has an L series engine. So this is the old Nissan L series and it's on uh, carburetors as well. And once again on bags. So uh, I gotta say, Sometimes I'm kind of not really impressed with Liberty Walks, what they do, because it's kind of like, eh, it's like, eh, it's like, mm. But I think their stuff looks really good uh, this year. They've got a bit more of a stronger theme. Once again, if you've been to Auto Salon before, you probably would have seen the Impulse A86. Uh, it's all carbon, carbon. It was one of the first cars to have like, you know, carbon roof and carbon this, that, and the other. All right. Oh, there's the, uh, the tech arts guys looking at it. <laughs> By the way, th that's the set of stairs we came down. We've barely moved. But there is a lot of cool stuff here. Hey. Ah! 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 That was a dude that I've done some work with before, but I didn't recognize him. So he had to take his mask off. I was like, oh yeah, I know you. And I said, I'm doing a live stream. And he said, oh, me too. <laughs> so again, similar theme. I think uh, it, it's cool they've picked a, a strong theme to go with. With these cars. It's got that uh, bit of a retro feel to it as well. McLaren. Oh, a new Corvette. I've seen a couple of these uh, kicking around here. What's the what's the consensus of these? Are they good? How, what are they like? Did you see the one XQC built? I did. Can he? Does XQC, XQC even have a license though? I know all these uh, all these Twitch guys getting the big cars. So the uh, soda got the Porsche. I mean, honestly, just buying a car like that is an investment now. Anyway, so even if you're not going to drive it that much, it's still worth uh, buying if you can afford it. 
No license. <laughs> yeah, I drive a minivan chat, by the way. I have a minivan. Uh, I bought it second hand for about like six thousand dollars. And it's currently got uh, winter tires on it and it's covered in salt crud from when I went up to a ski resort a few weeks ago. This uh, has a lot of road presence. The rear wing is a good two meters wide. Wow. Like it's over the top without being too disgustingly over the top. I really like, I'm, I'm a big fan of Liberty Walk this year. I think they've done a really good job. Like usually I'm not really that you know, enamored by what they do, but I think they've done really well. Was it based on an SVJ? I don't, probably you guys know better than I do. All right. Landies. Land cruisers have their niche over here. I just realized I haven't said hello to chat yet. Hello. Yes, I have a mask on. Yes, we're not going to discuss it. Just be thankful this show is even on. You know, last year we had to do like a virtual order so on. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you're new here, hit subscribe because as you can see, I'll be able to do lots of cool IRL stuff from now on with this setup. Is it limited capacity? Okay, so I'll tell you what's going on here this weekend. So today is Friday. Uh, it's Friday afternoon in Tokyo. We're at Makuhari Messe, which is, uh, this is cool. Even though it is a Lavorg. Uh, and today is, uh, it's like the media only day. So as you can hear, there's not really any music playing. It's not loud. There's not a bunch of stuff going on. There's not a lot of people. Uh, I think it's until two o'clock. They have no music. Did it just hit two o'clock? Oh, they're just playing it quietly. But uh, yeah, it's like, it's it actually written in the, in the thing, quiet time. <laughs> Sounds like, you know, something at a, at a preschool. But yeah, it's also, it's also good too, because I won't get any uh, copyright strikes. That was really funny last year, not last year, like two years ago, uh, when they were doing like the actual auto sell on live stream. Uh, they were broadcasting it on, on YouTube and it got taken down like three times because there was music playing and it got, it got uh, copyright ID'd. Like just music playing in the background at the show. <laughs> wah, wah. Oh, good job. Oh, wow, here we go. Ugh. Any Subaru stands? I think, uh, yeah, well, we just, we just walked past it. We'll go back. We're going back down that lane. IGL coatings. Okay. There we go. So the, the van that I drive is worth about as much as this much of this car. <laughs> maybe, maybe a bit less. Some people say CD-ROMs, uh, outdated technology. I say, oh, this guy doesn't think so. <laughs> so the old, uh, all the old 900cc Kawasaki's were the uh, the Hoon mobile back in the day. I know they were in Australia, especially. 
the Z900s. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, be, be nice if. I like these though, this is the kind, like I was just saying before, with that uh, Toyota that's over there. Like I like this style of car, not like the, per, just, per, just speaking personally, like the wedge, the door stop, I prefer the, uh, the shoe. It's my preference. MG GTR. This is what I. This is what I drive. I like the teal as well. I don't know. Like the you know the 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 big supercar sound. I don't really like. I like the big throaty V8. You know, V10 or less sound, I think. The sandal style. <laughs> white on white McLaren. Let's see that, uh, that song by that guy, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, chop carbon never really took off, did it? I don't know. People, you know, some people just sort of ran it and then everyone went, yeah, okay. And it never really sort of went anywhere, did it? Yeah, you don't like it either. Yeah, right? Even joke, even the Joker didn't drive a purple Lamborghini. It wasn't a, what was it? It was a, it was like some kit car, wasn't it? Run to HKS. No, we've, I will do, we'll do this haul, then we'll go. There you go, this is what you need to take your wheels to the track. <laughs> so big got to back up. Love the Velfires and the Alphards. It's nice. Oh wait, what is this front on it? Is that the stock front? Oh, it's the AMG front. Yes. This is classy. This is very, I like this. Yes. So the brushed aluminium look to it. I'm sorry, Money Penny. I left. I had to crash the Ashton. We're taking the. <laughs> we're taking the AMG. All right, we'll go down to that uh, Subaru stand, and then we'll head back. Would look. It would look good. Yeah, if that had a wing. It would suit it. You're right. We'll go this way. We haven't walked this way yet. What does 007 drive these days? I, I didn't see the last movie. What's it called? You only kill another day. He drives an... Oh, he does drive an Aston now? Oh, that's good. Land Rover and Aston. So he's gone back to his British roots. Even though I'm speaking like Sean Connery, who's Scottish. Speaking of that, this is my stand, Bond. Well, I'm starting to sound like, uh, what am I starting to sound like?
It would be exceedingly painful for you. Can we go in? Mr. Bean. <laughs> oh. Ooh. As you can see, the lighting at Auto Salon has always been absolute butthole. It's always terrible. And luckily this camera seems to be handling it okay. Um, but some of them use those LED lights with the, with the cheaper inverters, like the ones that don't go as fast as they should. And you get flickering, it's terrible. Like if, I was on, if I was on GoPro, it'd be flickering probably. Sean Connery was the name you're looking for. No, no, no. Uh, Bane. It's starting to sound like Bane. It's because I'm wearing a mask. Time to desanitize. Oh, see what I'm saying? I don't see what I'm Oh. Alright, chat, once again, my hands are dry and cracked, but they are clean. Alright, here we go. <laughs> The new BRZ, which is uh, the same as the Toyota GR86, except it's a little bit classier. This one's lit pretty well though, thankfully. I've got to say, I've seen more, I don't know if it's because of the, like, the, the production schedule or what, but I've seen more BRZs driving around on the street than I have GR86s that I've noticed. I'm not sure why. Oh, hello, Jake. Is the uh, BRZ Super GT car? Can we zoom in? I love the catalytic the catalytic converters they have to run on these. Look, it's like yes, it's a catalytic converter. <laughs> we put it right at the end of the exhaust and it barely does anything. So this one runs in the GT300 series, so it's one below the GT500. And I think this one does did pretty well, I don't know if it was winner or not, but it did pretty well. Does the BRZ and the GR86 have the same engine? Yes, it's the same car basically. Just, yeah, it was built with a, a collaboration between Toyota and Subaru. God, these things are. It's an. It's. Uh, I mean, we crouch down. I mean, it's an SUV, isn't it? Yeah, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, this is... It's so high. Too thick? I think it is too thick. If we just hang on, let's let's try and make it look good. Can we can we get a good angle on it? Uh, I don't know. Even the even the even the snout looks a bit even the snout looks a bit snouty. Subaru's global SUV platform. Uh, I mean, but okay. That said. I mean, take something like a Forester. Like, if you slam a Forester, it looks good, right? USA Kid... Yeah, I know, right? So, I think it looks ugly, but I think it's going to do well. Yeah, it, it looks terrible. But it's going to do well. Looks okay from 10 meters back. Hey, you're right. 
<laughs> no, still bad. <laughs> still ugly. Yeah, it's a bit of a. Mm, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe if you live in the Pacific Northwest only, it's a cross track. Yeah, I, like I couldn't see anyone living somewhere that where it doesn't snow driving this. It's too big. Yeah, it is too big. Oh well. Rip, rip the VRX. It doesn't help that the fitment is ass. The the wheels and tires are terrible. What are these two, two two fives? They're two four five. These are two four five forties, and they look that. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. It's on two four five forty tires. Like on a normal car, those would look huge. It needs something chunky like if this had chunky tires on it it would be that sort of cool like oh yeah we're mad maxi sort of off-road sort of look thank you dirty for the gifted subs by the way i'm sorry today chat we don't have uh we don't have any alerts at the moment because uh, unfortunately this morning when i tried to connect uh the the server was down and i was only able to get onto the uh, the guy who runs the server until after I started. So we're streaming directly to Twitch without going through the server. But we've been okay so far. So I'll tell you what, if we drop out at all, uh, I will I will shut down for a minute and then go and switch to the to the other server. But because there's not that many people here today, so we should be okay as far as connection goes. And so far the quality seems pretty good. Don't go to the bathroom like Doc, don't worry. I might be a member of the Champions Club, but I won't do that. X. <laughs> what, what? You can go for a passenger ride. I'm guessing that's a Seto. That's kind of cool. That'd be uh, that could be for uh, for rally training, right? Easy left over bump, don't cut. Caution, jump. Or as the Swedish would say, a yump. That's the same thing over here. Samir, you are breaking the car. Listen to my call, Samir. Shut up. Oh, oh God, I got there. Exchanging business cards. I don't want to get in the way of that. Oh my God, everyone's exchanging business cards in the middle of the hall. That was a rally course right there. Triple caution. Business cards. Tom's Formula College. Ooh. Oh, oh, dude, yes. <laughs> They're running, <laughs> everyone's running on a set of Corsa. This is a uh, Fuji Speedway, I guess. It looks like, this track looks like ass. What is that? Is that under the front straight? This track looks terrible. <laughs> Tom's Formula Co See, the problem, the problem with me, chat, is that I can't fit in any of these cars at all. I would need to have them sort of custom adjusted for me to fit. It's probably a custom G-Motor Sim. Okay. 
Yeah, the FOV as well, right? All right, let's uh, let's head over to the HKS stand. <laughs> oh wait, where's the? Oh, can we not go through the? Huh? Is there not a tunnel? Oh, they might all just be. Yeah, they might all be separated to. Uh, I don't know, like separate airflow or something? I don't know. We might have to go... There was, was there a tunnel? Did anyone spot a tunnel? Might have to go out and go in the next hall. Type R when? I don't know, Jake. We're not... We're in the, uh, the... The European exotic hall right now. Oh, is my word a bit hot? I'm sorry. This is a brand new camera I'm using right now, actually. <laughs> Bedford Camper, what? So that's uh, Hall 8 and Hall 7. We had Toyota over there, we had Subaru over there. Bye bye, hole seven. So that was the like the exotic slash uh, off road four wheel drive sort of uh, sort of hall, and. Yeah, are they separating it or are the halls open? I don't think, yeah, we can't walk straight there. So we might have to just go straight to HKS right now. So here's another one. It's like the, uh, the tuna cars and like customs and stuff like that. And over there we've got, oh, the, is that the Nat stand over there? That'd be cool. Okay, so we, I think we have to go to HKS now. Tuna, tuner, tuner cars. Yeah, we will. No, no look, we, the all the high like we're going right now to Hall One, which is where all the JDM stuff is, like all the big tuners. Sorry, all the big tuners, like HKS, Greddy, you know, Trust, and all, well, Trust, Greddy, same thing. Oh, it's nice not being so crowded like it normally is. Oh, you know what I should do? I didn't, um, I didn't do an Instagram story saying I was live. Hang on. I'll do it when I go down to the, uh, go down the ramp. You know, so I'll just show you quickly. So we just did that hall. We still have the center one and that one to go. So don't worry. Japan's bag game. Yeah, they've got all those uh, huge bags. Been seeing some of the, the Liberty Walk ones look cool. Tone girl. Ah, I don't know if Tone has a stand here or not, do they? Where's my, oh, I lost it. No, oh, wait, is it my pocket? Oh, I lost my guide, that was in my back pocket, I've lost it. Yeah, yeah I don't know. Yeah, it's not. I don't know, a lot of cars right now just don't have any kind of initial sex appeal, do they? Alright, so chat, as you saw in the title, 
today, uh, yeah, there's no uh, passage between the halls. So we have to go up and down the escalators every time. Normally, like normally, the little passage between the halls is open. I guess they're just trying to, you know, guide movement through the halls. So if, uh, if Tone does have a stand, we'll go see if, uh, what's her name? Misaki? Miyuki? I can't remember. We'll see if she's there. It's a shame but she, everyone has to wear a mask too, because she's really cute. Does it cost money to go in here? Of course it does, but um, it doesn't cost me money. Okay, we can walk down. So what I'll do is, I'll walk down through here. So let me just do a quick, let me do a quick Instagram story. Hey everyone, we're live here at Tokyo Auto Salon. I'm doing a live stream right now on twitch.tv slash Noriyaro Japan. Come check it out. Here's the link. There's some cool stuff here. There we go. Twitch. Dot. TV. Oh, by the way, there is an, another, there is a completely other hall as well that has all the drift stuff and stuff like that in there too. Noriyaro Japan. And then I make it purple. There we go. <laughs> uh, make it centered and up. There we go. So, like I was saying, as you can see in the title, Tokyo Auto, Sal Auto Salon, brought to you by HKS. So, we are doing a sponsored segment now with HKS. So we'll walk over to the HKS stand and we'll spend a few minutes having a look at all their new stuff. Ooh, Varus. Varus Yaris. Holy crap, that's insane. That looks cool. That's what that car needs. That car needs a wide body for it to look good. Anyone from New Zealand watching right now? Here you go. Look at this, this is, this is insane. This is the, look, the Aria Mamiya stand. You can just walk around and look at everything. I love Media Day. Oh, it's finally here. It looks okay. Uh, <laughs> This is a Ferrari, by the way, with a rotary, but we'll come back to that. Thank you, Shadow Jumper. <laughs> so for anyone who can't catch today's entire stream, uh, I am recording at the same time, so I'll be load uploading this to YouTube. <laughs> There's the Dory 10 stand. All right, here we go, HKS. It's nice being kind of quiet too on media day. All righty. Oh, good morning. すごい。え、あ、そうかそうか。これからちょっとあの、あきらさんとあ、いいね。YouTube。あ、今生配信ですよね。もう、もう。あの、このくらいが見てます。1000、1600人ぐらい。All right, so chat, he, uh, there's the
All right, HK stand. So, chat, this is going to be a little sponsored segment we're doing with HKS. So what we'll do is we'll have a bit of a look around because we'll be doing stuff with HKS this year. Really looking forward to that. Really excited to finally start doing something with one of the big JDM manufacturers. You know? We're getting there. <laughs> finally. So big boy sponsors this year. All right, so they've got uh, a few little things here and there. So, Chad, here we go. Um, so, from now on, we're going to start this little sponsor segment. We're going to walk around with Akira from HKS and have a look at all the stuff that's here. And, you know, just build a bit more brand awareness. I mean, you all know what HKS is, right? You all know. You all know this. But, uh, you know, all the stuff that they do and all the stuff they're doing, you know, Give you something to, to aim towards, something you know to look forward to. I mean, you too, one day could have an HKS complete engine, All right? I mean, look, they're they're still developing HKS parts, but anyway, let's let's get Akira to help us out. これからするそうですいつからあとなんかあと何分だったらもうこの辺に見えるからあ全然今からでもいいはいいいいですいいですオッケーそう今は専用ロッパキングがいいとかそうオッケーチャットそう待ってて customers at HKS, like it was in, you know, because they couldn't do auto selling back then, uh, we went to their, their headquarters. We went to the headquarters in Shizuoka and had a look there, but here, this year, we're at the actual show. So, all right, so obviously the new cars, uh, the newest car, the car of the show, I guess this year. So every year at Auto Salon, there's sort of a car which sets the, the theme of the show. You know, sometimes it's the, you know, like for example, when the GTR came out back in 2000, I think it was a 2009 or 10 uh, Auto Salon. And you know, when the Toyota 86 came out, there was one unfortunate year where there was no like new car that came out. And like the best car at the show was like the the hybrid CRV, you know, an HK, uh, top secret had like an eight like a <laughs> like a hybrid Honda on their stand. Like yeah, this is this year's car. This is all there is. So yeah. So anyway, but the newest car here on the HK stand uh, is the 86. So we've got a few different ones. We'll start with this one. Hey. Alright, so if you, if, now chat, remember, all these cars, you know, if you want to buy an R32, if you want to buy a Silvia, they're all like 20G, 30G now, you might as well go out and buy a brand new car, right? And right now, what are the options? Well, there's the Supra, which is too expensive, and is automatic, and then you have um, the 400Z, which is going to come out soon. <laughs> but we don't know anything about that. But right now, this is the car to buy. So, everybody says, not enough power. So what can we do about power? Power that supercharger. Supercharger. So this is HKN's bolt on. Stuck, stuck, So this is HKS's supercharger kit. As you can, you can see it there. Supercharged. So, because this is a boxer engine, uh, it's fairly because all the you know, the it's a short and short and wide engine. So, installing a supercharger is reasonably simple on these cars compared to some others. Yeah. 
あのずっとスーパーチャージャーでそうだ、ね、ストリートの。So the previous,、uh, the previous HKS Uh, the, the, was it the, G, the、uh, eh? G- GR じゃなくて ?FT?FT って、まあ、前の the, the previous 86。Oh, uh, I thought... それ、まあ、いろんな名前あるね。Like, it had a bunch of different words and names、uh, around the world, right? So they made a supercharger kit for that. いや、短くに言ったら私は説明する。So they... So they were able to adapt that to their new,、uh, to the new engine pretty easily and they've already got it out. So before you can really even buy an 8.6, they already have the supercharger kit out for that. So, power, how much? Oh, I'm going to go to the supercharger. 300 baht. 300? Yeah. So it puts out about 300 horsepower, and that's with an exhaust as well. And a boost. And, a bo- and obviously with the boost. What do you mean? Gasket to Kokan Shinakte. So, it's a good one. So, it's a good one. So, it's the bolt on. So, that's about it. It's,、uh, the supercharger kit has about as much power as you can get. With just the bolt on engine. And remember, these are going to be brand new engines as well, so you're probably not going to have too much trouble、uh, as far as、uh, gas. Let's not talk about gaskets in boxer engines. So, this one here, it's the HKS GT2 supercharger and, the, of course, the air filter. Ah, what is this? The element, the replacement element filter. So, this、uh, might, it may pass like the policeman check. Of course, it has a、uh, cap. Oil 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 c a p Oil cap. じゃあエーロエーロはエーロは HKS のストリートエーロ。そっか、そっか。So this is、uh, also HKS's Aero, which is、uh, bolt on to the standard kit. So you have the lower lip, which is not too low, but it's still pretty low. The canards on the side. とこのサイドステップ。ああ。サイドスカート。Okay. So the GT style side step. And vent there, also on the rear, the rear wing. Rear wing, duck tail. Duck tail, duck tail, duck tail. 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 So it's the same, so this is the normal ducktail height, but it, this one's even higher and it's in carbon fiber as well. But it's. Mm. That's, that's my knees cracking, by the way, chat. And the, the,、uh, the good old HKS high power with the little、uh, burnt titanium trim ring. And I've got to say. All of the 8.6s I've seen here so far today have really good wheel fitment. So, it's more collab with the Adoban wheel. So, HKS always runs Yokohama wheels and Yokohama tires. Ah, it's a new AD Q. Oh, these are the new AD09. This is the new 809 Advance. So, and this car is,、uh, this is, so this is like the current, this is the 2022 JDM car. Right? We have、uh, endless wheels and endless brakes. Sorry, endless brakes. So, discs and brakes is what I wanted to say. And the fitment is pretty good. Q. Q. What's it about? <laughs> Q. So these are 18 by 9 plus 51. Okay, so the, yeah, so if you're going to be running、uh, wheels on this car, you need fairly high offset. 
But honestly, I think it suits this car. Like, I mean, unless you're going to be running wide body, you're probably not going to be running the big dish anyway. I mean, it's not a, it's not a sedan, so. And this car is HKS suspension. And it has, of course, the HKS Hypermax suspension. え、この高さでも大丈夫当たるかな。この高さでも。でも大丈夫。とりあえずは。とりあえずは大丈夫。でもまあ、一応消化しよう。まあ、そうだよね。うん。So it is a, of course, you know, it's a show car, so it has been lowered a little bit more than uh, than usual. But uh this is what uh, you're looking at if you're going to get a Toyota 86. So there you go. Can it drift? We'll get to that. Remember, this is the street car. It's not the, it's not the drift car. It's the street car. Street, street. Drift. Street drift. Street drift. Street drift. <laughs> hey, do you think it's possible? It's possible. 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 これ純正。純正のものです。Yeah. So remember, it's a it's a wrap. It's not it's not actually like brushed. Remember, this is like the low, not low spec, but it's like the the street spec. So not too extreme. Okay. Alright, so a bit of uh, engine. Ah, Kurumane? So the HKS Hypermax, which they have for. Ah. Yeah. So the hype, uh, Hypermax suspension is fully adjustable. So you can make it nice and low, or not low if you want. You've got the carbon fiber engine dress up and also the fuse box. Carbon fiber dress up as well. And oil cooler. And oil cooler. It's a little bit of 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 a little all right, so and just a bolt-on uh, sandwich oil cooler. That looks a lot easier to install than uh, on uh, on regular cars. Sandwich to make is not easy. Regular car, it's easy. 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 ま、サスペンションわかるね。30万ぐらい。今20何万。うん。で、スーパーチャージャーは。スーパーチャージャー。あ、あれか。あれですか。それね、あの、エアロ、エアロの説明。あ、違う違う。これ、これ多分。あ
Now, if you wanted to know what kind of potential is there, so maybe some of you are thinking, like you're looking at this car, yeah, yeah, it doesn't, and it makes like 300 horsepower, so what? That's boring, blah, 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 blah. This car can do one minute, one second at scuba circuit. Now, you might be looking at the engine bay, and you can see there's a turbo there, and you might be saying, yeah, okay, it's running race semi-slicks and has a turbo, of course it can go fast. It did a 101 with a naturally aspirated engine. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. So the story behind behind this is this is HKS. So HKS has a bit of a history of setting good times with their with stuff you can buy from them at Scuba Circuit. So just recently, this car, someone can probably find the, the link and post it in chat. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, with uh, Taniguchi san, so? Yes. So with uh, Nob Taniguchi driving this car, it did naturally aspirated with only minor engine mods, a one minute. Uh, uh, well, as far as the engine goes, light, uh, just um, light tune on the engine, like just minor stuff, you know, exhaust, air filter, that sort of stuff. Uh, they left the engine as, as much alone as they could. Uh, stripped out, so super lightweight. They took everything out of it. Doesn't it? Yeah, roller cage is not there. Roller cage is not there. No. 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 Cage the not there. No. Cage is not there. No. Cage Cage is not there. No. Cage is not the No. Cage is not there. No. Eo Gomaru? Zero Go Zero. Zero Go Zero, yeah. So the A, the, that's, Yoka, that's Yokohama's, uh, you know, craziest time attack tire that's still, uh, still, it's still grooved. One minute, one second, which is nuts. That's really fast. <laughs> but if, yeah. I mean, you gotta remember, it was, it was Taniguchi driving it, and Taniguchi's like just a god driver, basically. One minute one 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 oh one one oh one two eight six two eight six. Mm. Oh there you go, it says eight six on the end. <laughs> <laughs> so big wing, uh, big wheels, big rubber, lightweight. So they, they went the hot rod approach and uh, got a one oh one super lightweight. So Aero and this car? Aero HKS no Ooh. All right, so you've got to compare this to some of the other wide body kits we've seen so far for this car. So this is the prototype for HKS's wide body kit. Mm. Wing? Yeah, I think, see, okay, so one of the rules, actually it's right, oh, it's right there. One of the rules for, uh, uh, for registration in Japan, chat, is that wings can't be wider than the car. They have to be narrow. And this one is right there. But yeah, but this one's just designed to, to get a time. Right. Chad, I think this is the way. This is the way, to be honest. It looks so good. I like this. Uh, right. <laughs> so, of course, you know, you have a wing that's this big. Let me just show you how big this is. Right. So. Ready? So. Put my hand here, right, uh, and I can. That's how it's like that wide. <laughs> and. Carbon. Oh, this is carbon. Oh wow! I thought it was. It it sounds like metal, but it's carbon fiber. It's really. That's really dense. This is really dense carbon fiber. Like it feels... Like when you touch it, it sort of sucks heat out of your fingers. 
It's really dense carbon fiber. This is all carbon fiber too. I mean, honestly, I think the best thing about this car too is, and look at the HKS livery. Oh! HKS car is the best. Hey, Chad, what, what, um, what, color are, what color are super softs, like soft tires in Formula One? Is it red or is it yellow? Pink. Pink? Soft or? Soft. Oh. Huh? Yellow. Huh? Red? Red or hard? Chato, I mean, I got it. It is red? There you go. So these are the, the super softs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should just show you quickly. These tires, um, if you don't know, these are the Yokohama AO50s right here. A, sorry, I'm putting my middle finger. Sorry, my, I cut my finger that's way. AO50. And these tires are like the. Can you see that? They're the craziest grooved tire that they make. Like this is essentially what all the Time Attack guys run. These are the, the Time Attack cheetah tires. I'm not flipping you off, I'm sorry. Look, I cut my, I cut my finger this morning, so I didn't want to, I can't, I, I don't want to use it. Kore akereru? Muko, muko? Ah, dochi demo. Oh, pink is super soft, red is soft. Okay, so it's just straight soft. Ah, ah, ine. So as you can see, so we're not, we're not trying to hide anything and, you know, try and fake the funk. So it's been absolutely stripped out. Right? No roll, no roll cage. Everything's missing. And it's even got the carbon shift knob to try and save weight. Right, no, no instruments or anything apart from like just the, 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 well there's a boost gauge over there now, like a booster controller. All right, lightweight seat. That's it. That's it. So that's why it's fast. <laughs> A bulletable carbon. So this is the this is the kit that they're making. The wide body HKS kit. Yeah, suicide. Yeah, I mean that time attack is basically suicide spec. You need to be lightweight. But just tabin. 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 But now what they've done is that they've installed one of these things that are. HKS GT3, so this is the GT3 RS. So as you can see, so because the boxer engine, exhaust comes down the bottom, four into one. The turbo sits at the front there, and this goes back into the inlet. Uh, sorry, this go. Sorry, that's the exhaust. That's the exhaust that goes out like that. This one goes here into the intercooler, and then out into the inlet on the top of the engine. And of course the classic HKS mushroom. So HKS wa ano mai no 86 no super turbo ga turbo mo super turbo mo aru. Yoho to mo aru. Ima mo aru. Ima mo aru. Mai wa nakatta. Super charger dake mo aru. Ah. So they had a, a turbo kit for the old 86 as well, and this is one for the new ones. So that's what's installed on this thing over here now. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you can't really run something too much bigger than this. Remember, it's... Yeah, these are designed to be... <coughs> excuse me. These are designed to be sold to the public, so... Yeah, they can't really sell like a lag monster. It looks good, huh? Engine room, you know. Yeah, remember it's a HK. It's Bolton, right? All the, the big the big boys are over there. We'll get to those. We'll get to those in a minute. Wobble wobble. It's only it's like that thick. 
ょっとゆるゆるして<笑>ワボワボそれでいいかよトーボクサー。これは全部 HK のものです。そして、今までの 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 HK のものです。A 101 on a close to stock engine the, is crazy. So there you go. Very nice. Hey, to give up. Hypermax S series. S15 no yo, are you ready? S15 no yo. So the new brand of suspension by HKS is, by the way, chat, if you didn't know, this is a, this is a sponsored segment, by the way, which is why we're looking at HKS so much. We will be going out looking at other stuff later. We're just doing this little sponsored segment right now. <laughs> Excuse me. Haha. -ha. S15. HKS. Hmm. But uh, of course they have a full range For everything else, they have for all the other you know, cars that are out there. Uh, Civic, oh, here you go, Jake and Bake. If you're in chat, there you go. Civic, new Civic, new w r x Ah, new じゃないね。その前の。あ、こっちはこっちですね。あ、写真ない。写真ない方がいい。あまり綺麗じゃないと思う。え、みんなチャットみんなチャット。You're reckoning the new the new one looks like shit, right? そこにあるのなんだね。上に。あのさ,さっきスブルのところで見て、うん、ちょっとうん、yeah, yeah right、チャイ、your thought、your thought the new Subaru looks terrible right いや、いやみんながいやだって言ったんだけど、<笑>そうこれが new Z、あ、ah,、and of course the new Fair Lady Z which is coming out which has a huge shadow over it like that、it's a terrible photo but we'll ignore that。これが今、uh, to be demo。ああ。Make make two. Mm -hmm. make two. <laughs> <laughs> And of course, all the stuff like the, you know, if you want to slam your van, you'll have all that stuff too. But、uh, yeah, here you go, look. S15. Six and five. Okay, so nice and soft. So there you go. All right, here we go. Go to Marta. So, new tab. Big. Okay, so we want to look at 1000 horsepower over GT75 115 ball bearing. That's this one. So over 1000 horsepower. So, what is GTR? 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 もういけるし、そうは、It's a big。ヘミとか。え？と？ヘミエンジン。エレスとか。あ、エレスとか。<笑>え、それ作るあの。まあ駅マニアは、あ、ってもらって、あの V バンドだから。あ、確かに。うん。Okay, so all the new one, this one has the、uh, the V band set up on it, so you can run it on whatever you want. あとあの中東とかだ。あ,あ、そうだね。うん、<笑>ああ、いえ、オーディー、あ、なんか、ドバイとか、そういう人。ドバイとかで言ったら、ランドクルーザーとか、あの、<笑> FK、結構売ってる売ってます。ねえ。Okay, so、uh, apparently that, <coughs> I mean, you all probably know there's a bit of a market for land cruisers and stuff like that in the Middle East, and apparently they sell these sorts of things to the Middle East as well. So there you go. これを踏まえて、うん。作ったツインターボの R35 のキットがこれ。ああ。これがフルタービン。フルタービンキット。So they've got the HKS kit for the VR36 engine as well. Sorry, VR35 engine as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I, I cut my finger. That's why I'm not, I'll point with my pinky finger. How about that? <laughs> my thumb. No, what pinky finger? And here we go. He, he, Just to give you some perspective, 
This is one for a this is for a K van, the Honda N1. Ah, yes, ah, so <laughs> and this is for the S660. The little uh, Honda. So big, <laughs> small. Oh wait, chat, can we just can we do something? Hang on. Hey chat, what does this remind you of? <laughs> Who'd have th uh, on your gate? Who'd have thought you could make a meme like that at Auto Salon? Come in that side. Just after this, it's Mr. All right. Um, ah, star. Come here. So new V Pro. New V Pro. Oh, wow, it's big. I didn't think it was that big. So new V Pro. They keep bringing uh, the V Pro out. I used to run a V Pro. Uh, it was good. But uh, getting a bit old, so it's good to see they got the new V Pro. This is for the uh, for the new 86 as well. Direct ignition too. Ah, direct ignition. Electric short valve mo. Kore de control dekiri yoni. Ah. Nar. Okay, so bolt on for uh, electric throttle and also direct injection engines. They can do that. Finally. Here we go. Here we go. Here's the the dream parts chat. RB26 crank angle sensor conversion V cam kit. So when you see the RB26 with this little solenoid on the front, that's for the V cam, as you can see in there. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta have a drink. Kekko can still sit in there. Yeah, Kekko. Yeah, the air in here is really dry. I guess they're doing it on purpose for the aircon. Oh, sorry. I should explain for those who don't know. VCAM is uh, it's like uh, it's like VTEC. It's variable valve timing. So uh, the 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 one JZ, sorry, the two JZ, one JZ have variable valve timing uh, on the yeah the VVTI. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Also, the later model SR20. When you see this thing on here, that's the variable valve timing. Uh, but the RB26 never had it, so HKS made their own version of it. And it was, uh, they sold it for a while, and then they stopped selling it, but then they started selling it again, because everybody, everybody wanted it. I guess, because most people building a... <laughs> mm. <coughs> most people building an RB26 these days probably have enough money to do, you know, the full engine. So, sounds like someone could use some water. I could, so I'm going to have a quick drink. <laughs> oh, give me a sec, chat. Okay. There you go, I got some tea. Let's go some this. え、うん。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K。2K
you were injured. Uh, I, I I actually ran HKS cams on my yeah on my uh, chat. I had I had these camshafts on my car. Uh, they don't exist anymore, unfortunately. And of course the uh, SR20. This is the later model, the S15 version. Ah, this is still. This is still a prototype. This is already sold. It's already so you know, they're already selling the uh, 26 and 2J ones, but they're prototyping the heads of um, the 1J and SR20. Nite ni. Kore wa? Niten go. All right. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You think, kore hoshi. これ、ちょうだい。え、これもプロトタイプ<笑><笑> All right, so next one we have <laughs> So, so by the way, chat once again, uh, we're doing a little sponsored segment here at HKS. Uh, we're just going to go over the uh, the HKS GR Yaris, and there's also some other stuff over there. We'll have a quick look at. So we will be getting back to the rest of the show very soon. So thank you for watching. Hashtag ad. Okay, so this is like we saw over there the street version of the new 86. This is the street version of the Yaris. Now, we saw this car last year at uh, the virtual auto salon when I went to HKS and did the, uh, you know, their little stand that they built at their headquarters there. But apparently, they've changed quite a lot. And I can see that this intake is huge now. It's like a rally car now, this intake. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> carbon is not there. It's just, a, just all carbon in the engine bay now. Yeah, officer, it's completely stocked, bruz. The engine tune to boost. This is the Yaris ECU tuning. スイッチするイシュチューニングでピギバックのうんあのエッジケースイシュとブーストコントローラーであセットでそうセットでブーストも上げてえっとその点火タイミングと燃焼フュー燃焼フュータイミングとフュータイミングと燃焼フュータイミ
Yeah, so what that means is uh, you, know, you still have the standard ECU in there because the ECUs control a whole lot of stuff like uh, you know, return to idle, idling, also like you know, when, you when you turn on your air con and the, the revs like drop a little bit and go up again, like all that sort of stuff. Uh, you know, e including that on an ECU, you know, it costs extra money and all that sort of stuff, so it costs yeah. more. So with just the piggyback, it costs less. Like it's pretty, it's pretty standard sort of old, I, I don't want to say old school tuning, but it's the most effective you know, street tuning for someone who just wants a street car. And that means you, know, you don't lose, uh, you don't lose, you know, like when you turn your aircon on, the car doesn't stall. Or when you pull up to a set of lights, it doesn't stall. Which is a, which is a problem I used to have. But uh, yeah, there you go, okay? Wing. So this is the full HKS kit as well. There you go. Eh, why do they have to be nine? Why do they have to be nine? Stakan Yiru. Toko? Yiru, but. Ah. Chigao Toko? Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so the, the, the wide body one is. It's not at this stand, apparently. Ah, no, no. Okay. Look at the HKS factory, like that's how it looks. I've, I've been there before, it's so nice. Abarto. 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 That's a dad joke. Yeah, never mind. Okay, uh, so yeah, they make parts for cars overseas as well, because you know, obviously you know, people in Japan like to run overseas cars as well. Grass is always greener. Uh, you know, you have, uh, well, you know, well, you can just buy a Yaris. Why would you want to buy in a bath? Well, some people just want to. Like, we, we don't ask questions. You know, we just, uh, we just make what they want, right? So there you go. So anyway, um, yeah, there's a, oh, it's got a sweet, it's got a, um, yeah? Ah, this? This is the additional valve. Ah, it's a So, it's a So, there you go. The, the type of person who would drive in a bath in uh, Japan maybe lives in a nicer suburb. Then, like, this is the guy who lives in So, you know, you live in Aoyama. You live in like a nice place in Tokyo like Aoyama or Setagaya and you don't want to wake up the neighbors you know first thing in the morning hmm? uh, <laughs> yeah anywhere that anywhere in Tokyo that says something hills that's expensive anyway so there you go the, the switch and Yaris parts for the GR Yaris Tabo. it's a GT 4950R ball bearing this is a 3D printed prototype with a, with a V band. Super turbo muffler. Ah, <laughs> one of my greatest regrets is when I first bought my JZX100, I had a full titanium exhaust on it and I smashed it at Nico Circuit. Yeah, I, I, I bent it and the car just never sounded the same again. So that's a catalytic converter. Like Chase Amut. Fujitsan. Ah, um, by the way, Akira has a cha Akira has a chaser. Chaku. Chaku. Automa. Manual. You got So he has a manual. Chaku, right? Hmm. JZX100. Ah. Yeah. It's case, huh? It's case. So. GR. I mean, Insta are to keep it. Are they? 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 いや、そんな何も書いてないけど。これがね、あの、ガスケット。どっち？あれ、ここ、あれのガスケット。あ、あれの？あ、これ。ニュー、ニュー、ベイスのガスケット。オッケー、そう。え。<笑> 
So these are the ah, これはあれのために作ったかな。Okay, so they made these are the the gaskets they made. Yeah, high comp high comp. So if you want any more power, ah, in there. Okay, so these are some prototype high comp. I'm guessing high comp engines, uh, high comp、uh, gaskets for the two mil. So the normal ones are probably one point two. So there you go. Yeah, more just. もうちょっと薄い 1.2 ってちょっと薄いかな純正純正ともっとうん So there you go、um, You're gonna need a lot of these <laughs> Any Subaru owners in chat well, They'll know what these are You probably saw these in the background Yeah, yeah I know what those are <laughs> Oh here we go Oh this is the video Chat can someone find this And put it in chat あ一番最初あー、OK、so、これはあのこの車前にこの車がまだこうなる前あ、OK、so、this is the there's Taniguchi ああ、uh, Taniguchi driving the car for the first time so that, that car is this car here before they did like this this modification to it and he took it out so there's you can see they're running the they're running cheetah, the cheetah tires So there's this video,、uh, it's on the HKS channel. YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Yeah. They have, they have a pretty good channel these days. With English subtitles. Oh, yeah, and by the way, chat, it also has English subtitles. So if someone wants to post that, if a, if a mod wants to find that and put it in chat, I'd be much, that would much appreciate it.、Uh, yeah, as you can see, they have English subs. So there's the, the fully stripped out car. At、uh, Scuba Circuit. So that's in the old state, and this is the new version which, do, which does、uh, a 101, which is very fast. And this、uh, now has been upgraded, if you didn't catch it before, with a turbo. So they're going to be going even faster. So there you go. Nice. And then? Ah, this is it. Hoshi. Hoshi. <laughs> chat, someone, chat, I'm taking donos if someone wants to buy one of these for me. Not for you, for me. Ah, B26, Advanced Heritage. So this is the.、Uh... Oh, yeah, look at this. So a lot of you might know about the HKS R320R concept car. I think there's one of these in Australia, actually. It was going to be, you know, HKS's R32 supercar. But、uh, what they're doing now with the RB26 is they're making,、uh, they're still developing parts for it. Not necessarily for super high performance, but to make the engine run more efficiently with more power. So you can see this、uh, sort of knife edge style intake that they're running on it.、Uh, you know, instead of the regular. Intake, you have the electric intake. What is it? 3-5 用かな Ah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. Bosch. Yeah, it's an electric throttle.、Uh, looks like they've got like a prototype cover on here as well. なんかゲーミングパソコンみたいに。It's like a, it's like a gaming PC. Look at it. Doesn't it? This is the, the Lee and Lee head cover.、Uh, Spark、uh, coil pack cover, sorry. <laughs> and as we saw last, as we saw last year,、uh, they've done some development, airflow development, to try and get the most efficient airflow out of the RB26. Which means、uh, you have these weird sort of angled exhausts now. Yeah. Now, this here, this is pretty cool. So, that's the advanced heritage engine, which is like the, I guess, the old man version. Now, this is the,、uh, the young man version. As you can see. Oh. So, this is the old man version. So, this is the old man version. あの進,進化してるそうアドバンスヘルテージ、okay. その、えー、と600馬力でリッター20っていう、うん、すごい目標を立ててやってる最新の技術を積み込んだ RB26 の開発してる
それをこれでマーケットに落とし込んで、はい、なんていうのうん分かる分かるあのまあこれを作ってどうかなって次はこれをあの売,る売るためにこれを作りました。So this is a, it's all it's all 3D printed as you can see. It's got V bands which is cool. And this is so the idea with these HKS engines is,、uh, he said, a reliable 600 horsepower. So they took、uh, they took the development of this engine, and so this engine was like a what can we do with the RB26? So they they took all the、uh, the research from that, and they used it to build this, which is going to be sold to the public. So as you, this definitely looks like a development engine. Look at that, it's a bit rough here. <laughs> これどうどうやって作るかな。キャスあの、like is it going to be cast? These are CFRP だから。CFRP。インテーク。あ、carbon fiber。This is going to be carbon fiber. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is similar. To,、oh, so we've we've seen some intakes like this before. This is all going to be carbon fiber. Cool. <laughs> There are some intakes that look like this already, but this is going to be HKS as well. And of course, you've got the、uh, exhaust manifolds, which will be、uh, metal. That's going to cost so much money. Chad, this, when this, like, if this is actually carbon fiber, I won't be able to touch it. So I'm going to touch this. There you go. <laughs> It'll be too expensive to touch.、Well, these downpipes are cool too. So there you go. Okay. いいね。まあこれぐらいこんなもんだ。So there you go, chat. Thank you for thank you for sitting through this paid segment. Paid, sorry. This、uh, sponsored segment with HKS.、Uh, we went to their virtual auto salon last year at their headquarters, and now luckily we're here at the actual auto salon. Thankfully, and、uh, we had a look at all their new stuff. So it looks like the new 86 and the Yaris are the way to go. This car looks so nice. You can put the HKS like livery on anything, right? Ah,、uh, everyone says thank you.、Mm. Thank you to Akira. Ah, <laughs> 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 Insta, nandis ka? Insta. So, see you there. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll tell you later. He's working right now. He can't be. He can't be giving out his socials <laughs> while he's working. So there you go, HKS.、Um, so we will be doing some stuff with HKS this year. Depends on, depends on how it all goes. But I will be doing some stuff with them. Looking forward to that. And、uh, I don't know. Maybe you know, one day we can go out and have a look at、uh, the next generation of this car driving because this it can already do a 101 at Scuba Circuit with Taniguchi driving, and now it's turbo. So. It should be interesting to see, you know, what this car can do when they、uh, take it out next time. Oh, see it there? Yeah. Oh, see it there? I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah. Have you found the video? Good. Yeah. Honestly,、uh, this is... honestly, chat recently, I've been kind of interested in Time Attack at Scuba Circuit. It seems like a kind of a cool goal to go for. The livery. Ah, <laughs> they said this racing color is 100 horsepower. Ah,、oh, 200. Yeah. 200. <laughs> 200 horsepower for a livery. Okay, so there you go. We're going to continue the rest of the show now. Oh, just one last thing. Oh, what's that? Here you go. This is the ultimate、uh, cushion for the back seat of your car. <laughs> oh, I need to buy. I need to buy one. I mean, I need to buy a filter. My my S15 has a HKS filter, but it's too old. I need to buy a new one. Yeah, I have to buy it. There you go. The drip free. Oh, thank you. Easy. 
we're gonna get a free filter. <laughs> okay. Uh, so let's leave it there at HKS. Let's continue on with the rest of the show. So, ah. so thank you, Akira, for showing us around. Thank you. And we'll be doing some stuff with HKS in the future. Looking forward to it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. So there you go. Ah, sorry. 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 Ah, すみません。あの、あの、今は生配信だったけど、あ、ビジネスカードって書いてますね。え、ま、これも後で、あの、編集してあの、YouTube so that's our So that's our sponsored segment over. At HKS. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's stream. <laughs>